Hi, I'm Emily Dore, interior stylist, writer and craft designer. I often use hot glue in my work, but most people think of using glue to connect two items together, but there's so much more you can create using a hot glue gun. So today I'll be showing you a few different techniques. How to create jewellery using glue. How to create 3D objects. How to create a 3D effect on, for example, a vase. How to use paint and glue together and how to create a stamp. So the first thing you need to do is you need to plug in your glue gun. And you want to wait a couple of minutes for the glue to soften. And then after a couple of minutes, just flip the stand back, pull the trigger, and hopefully your glue should come out. Never force the glue through the glue gun and watch out for the nozzle as it can get really hot. So I'm going to show you how to make a necklace out of glue. So the first thing you need to do is you need to protect your work surface so you can use a glue pad or like me, I'm using greaseproof paper. So I'm just going to take a sheet of gold leaf and I'm going to start scratching some of it away from the surface. Now the reason that I've put the gold leaf on first is because you want to have the gold right at the front of the necklace so it really pops. So I've set my glue gun to the lowest temperature, it just means it's a little bit easier to work with. Now I'm just going to press lightly, it will pick up the gold leaf slightly and I'm going round in circles. This way it gives a nice even surface to the glue. You want to make it slightly bigger than the necklace that you intend to make. There we go. And then you just want to set that to the side for about 10 to 15 minutes. So you want to make sure that the glue has completely dried. And the way that we can tell this is the glue has gone from transparent to opaque. And I'm just simply going to peel it off from the greaseproof paper. So depending on what sized pendant you want to make, I find using a coin really useful to draw around. There's the pendant size. Now I just need to cut round it. So the edges of the pendant are still a bit rough, so what I'm going to do is use a bit of sandpaper just to smooth those down. So I want to add some extra sparkle to my pendant, and to do this I'm going to add some extra gold leaf around the edge. I'm going to be using this special glue which is called acrylic size. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of the size to the edge of my pendant using a paintbrush. So once the glue around the edge has gone tacky, it's time to add the gold leaf. So as before, I'm just going to scrape off some of this gold leaf. I'm going to put that directly onto my pendant. So just simply press it onto the edge. It's time to get brushing away the excess. So once you're happy with how your pendant looks, you need to create a hole which will be for your chain which will create your necklace. Now to make the hole you simply heat up a needle on a candle but don't forget to wear protective gloves and then simply push the needle through the glue and you're done. So next I'm going to show you how to create a 3D object out of the hot glue. So here I'm going to be making a pineapple. And I just need to start in the top bit first because that's the trickiest bit. And then you can fill the rest of the mould. Now when you use coloured glue, it's best to set the glue gun to the lowest temperature and that will give the brightest results for your 3D object. So you want to wait between 15 and 20 minutes so the glue is completely dry and then it's time to pop it out of the mould. Then the next thing you want to do is just trim off some of this excess with a pair of scissors. And then a really nice thing to do is actually give it a glossy effect. Now you can do that by using either a heat gun or a hairdryer. Make sure you don't put the hairdryer on there too long, otherwise you'll remelt it. So the next technique I'm going to show you is how to create a 3D effect on a vase. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your vase is nice and clean of any dirt or grease. So just give it a wash with some soapy water. Now there's three ways of getting your design onto your vase. If you're feeling super confident, you can apply the glue directly onto the vase. Alternatively, like I have here, I've drawn my design with a pencil. But if you prefer, 
you can draw your design on tracing paper first and then simply trace it off using a pencil. So now for the gluing. You want to keep quite a steady hand when you do this. Now you don't want to go too fast and you don't want to go too slow, otherwise you'll get bobbly bits or you could get stringy bits. And then on the tip of each petal, I'm just going to make a bit of a bobble on the end. And then to stop the string, you simply just twist the gun round and the string will disappear. So now that I've finished the gluing, you might just find that you've got a few stringy bits and you can remove those really easily with just a pair of tweezers. So what I like to do is spray paint my entire vase. It gives a really lovely professional effect. It smooths things over and covers all of those pencil marks. I'm now going to show you a fantastic technique of how to create a stamp using a piece of wood and my hot glue gun. I've really drawn my design onto my piece of wood. I've decided to do a leaf. And now I'm going to trace over it with glue. Make sure the thickness of the glue is consistent throughout the whole stamp. So once you've finished gluing, you want to leave it to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. So now it's time to add some coloured ink. Now I'm going to use these colourful inks, but if you like, you could actually choose to use some fabric paint and stamp your design onto an item of clothing. Once you've inked the entire stamp, it's time to get your piece of paper. Now I'm going to leave my stamp this way up and actually press the paper directly onto the stamp. That way I can actually feel all of the grooves of the stamp so it gets a really good impression. And as you can see, it's created a beautiful stamp. I'm now going to show you a really clever technique using glue and watercolour. We use glue because it actually creates a barrier and stops the paint from seeping underneath. Now when choosing papers, I recommend using watercolour paper because it's much thicker. If you use anything thinner, the water will actually make the paper warp and buckle. So I've drawn a floral design on my watercolour paper. I've drawn it very lightly because we're going to be using the transparent glue and I don't want to see the pencil marks through it. So I'm just going to flip the stand up and working at an angle, I'm just going to follow my pencil design all the way around. And again, when you come to the end of a petal, if you just give the nozzle a little twist, you can get rid of those annoying little strings. It's time to add the water. So I'm just going to pick some up with my brush and I'm going to pop it into each petal. So once you've filled all of the petals with water, it's time to add the colour. Now I'm going to add a bit of blue first. So make sure it's nice and watery. Dot it onto the water and look at that. How beautiful is that? And add the yellow to the tips of the petals. So I'm going to actually add a wash to mine to really make the flowers pop out. And I'm going to leave the glue as well for that lovely 3D effect. I do hope I've given you a lot of inspiration. So next time you're feeling creative, why not use a glue gun?